Hi Sterling friends. In the last video I presented my new 4 bar link drive. The inventor of the linkage, Dr. Alan Organ, kindly wrote me that the engine would need specially designed heat exchangers for proper operation. I use the heat exchangers of the Rombeck engine, which have too much dead space for atmospheric pressure. And despite the hint of Dr. Organ, I want to try to pressurize the engine because it is not much work to make it airtight. Now the engine is ready for pressurization and compression seems to be good. Unfortunately, then I had some problems with several parts. The heater head out of stainless steel got leaky. I had to part the flange off and make and weld a new one. On turning the flange, I realized that I need a bigger chuck to comfortably clamp the bigger parts on the lathe. The first test run under pressure showed a very rough behavior of the drive and a better balancing seems to be necessary. I didn't tighten the screws enough for the massive vibrations and the loosening parts destroyed the bearings. Next I didn't realize that the vent hole of the displacer was closed by the crosshead and the not pressurized displacer imploded. After heat and pressure forming it provisionally back, I eventually could start testing the drive. The behavior of the engine at atmospheric pressure was very promising. Unfortunately, it wasn't getting better at higher pressures, and the engine refuses to run. The 4 bar link drive has low friction, but it runs very rough, and a balancing system has to be, has to be developed. New heat exchangers are prepared, which will have half the dead volume with nearly the same exchanger surface area. 
I will need a few months for making the tools and for slotting the gas passages. I am also planning new heat exchanges with very low dead volume following the article in the Sterling News of Dr. Organ. Here I have to do a lot of researching and any suggestions and help about kappa, delta and the exchanger geometry in special would be nice. Simultaneously I will work on finishing my CNC lathe and developing the rhombic sterling further. As soon as I have results I will report. Thanks for watching and happy greetings from me.